Alright. No, not right now, okay? <coughs> We're by the San Nino Catholic Church. That's the biggest Catholic church in Car in Cologne area. That's the biggest Catholic church. And we're going to the pension house or hotel where the Americans stayed. He may have gone home. And we got uh, information. His, his first name was Glenn. Labang, Labang, Glenn. I'm just gathering information to turn over to the police when we decide if you don't have enough information they're not going to move on it. Since he's an American they have a big emphasis on arresting foreigners for trafficking. If it was Filipino I don't know if he'd get off the ground or not, I don't know. But since it's a foreigner they will move on it. I don't know if he's still in town or gone home. They said he was trying to get one of the girls to go to Mobile. One breakdown that's come out in this is uh, I had told people, but you know, I'm busy and I didn't emphasize enough to them to report this. Don't report it after the fact, you know, report it while it's going on. And uh, we got to get that drummed in their heads. But we also need other networks. <clears throat> you know, we need to sponsor other kids. When we sponsor, we end up getting all involved with the people, see. And uh, we need more little groups to get information. But we need this stuff reported. The problem is, as I've been saying in other things, and I'm really trying to describe climate that this all takes place in and what's going on so that people understand it and you know truthfully I I keep growing in my understanding of it because it's just so it's so foreign you know to, to American experience normal normal American experience you know it's just really really another world they don't see anything wrong with it so that's why they're not even thinking to report it, you know. So, well, so a girl's going to go have sex for money. Well, that's fine. That makes perfect sense to everybody. And they don't see it as wrong. That's an underlying huge, huge problem here. I'm not talking about all Filipinos. And I'm talking either, of course. But there is a culture of... Uh, you know, not caring, and then, well, they put the responsibility on the girl, even at a very young age. It's the girl's fault. And most of these girls being trafficked are not being forced to do this. They, they, they are willingly, willingly doing it. But the initial stages is in the gay community, it's called, you know, turning somebody out, and it, and you can call it that, and then also breaking somebody in, it's, you know, they, well, the girl gets corrupted, and thinks it's okay. This? Really? Well, listen, that's, uh, generous, that's more of a by-the-week, by-the-month place. He might still be here. Well, the hotel's not going to tell us anything. We can ask the, we have a Glen But you know where I could put, I could really put pressure on this hotel because I could tell him, you know what, you guys let trafficking go on in here. And these girls are ready to testify to that. And so we need some information and we'll let you off the hook. Put it on them, man. I won't do that right now. I'm just getting all the information. What room was he in? Do they know the number? I could tell him it's my friend and it Do they know the number of the room?
They don't know what room. How old was he, Generous? Was he older? Well, I can't believe we didn't get this information sooner, boy. We just really got to work.